Hello and welcome to the Destination Sailing Channel. I'm Carla. And I'm Simon. And we are from the YouTube sailing channel Sailing Ocean Fox. Over the past three years we've sailed over 25,000 miles on our catamaran through the Mediterranean, across the Atlantic and the Caribbean. In this series we will be looking at some of our favourite islands, towns and remote caves we have visited during our adventure. This will give you a fresh insight on your next destination, what to expect on arrival, places to stay, things to do and how to find those all important provisions from propane to bananas. So let's start with this week's location, Portimao. Yep, and uh, we last visited uh, in the winter of 2021. So we've actually were there for around about four months, um, sort of hiding from the terribly cold winter that we were experiencing. <laughs> Portimao is pretty well in the centre of the Algarve coast of Portugal. It is, la it is a large estuary with marinas, boatyards, anchorage and beaches and a fishing village of Ferragudo, mm. which is absolutely lovely. It's beautiful, it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, the language is Portuguese, as this is the Portuguese mainland, uh, but be most people be do... Bem-vindos a Portugal! Ah, there you go, you see? Because mm, Carla's Portuguese. Um, the, uh, there's an awful lot of people speak English, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I don't have a problem at all. No, not no. at all. I mean, I, I never had to translate for you no, because no. Uh, everyone Everybody speaks, just speaks English, English. especially I mean, the young people. I could ask for a, a cup of coffee and, a, and, a, and a, 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 a custard tart, for example, in Portuguese, but that's about as far as my Portuguese goes. Mm. And so, um, but if you if you speak English, you're absolutely fine. Fine, right? fine, no, fine, no problem, no problem at all. Yes. Um, the courtesy flag for Portugal is the Portuguese national flag. Yes. Yeah, yeah, which is red and green, isn't it? And that symbolises the fields for the farmer Fab, and, and the red for the blood. That for the was, blood, it was, yeah. Which, uh, came <laughs> it's a bit of history going yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. So, COVID. Um, there are COVID restrictions at the present time. Yeah, obviously. but you should yeah. check the non site for yeah. the. Uh, Latest, latest, latest information. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The weather in Portugal. The weather has uh, Portugal, uh, as in the Algarve, and don't get confused here between the south coast of Portugal and the rest of Portugal, because no. the weather here is really quite different. It is very different. It's kind of a microclimate going yeah. on here, yeah. uh, because I am from the north, and the north is bloody cold, guys. You just don't go there. It's beautiful, but it's so yeah. cold, cold. So if you so want warm... You're going to get warm, hot summers, Yeah. very dry down here. Yes. But we were really surprised by the winter, weren't we? Yes. yes I mean, yes. we were on the beach in November, yeah. Uh, laying out, getting a bit of a suntan in, and um, really right the way through the winter, we did have a little bit of a cold snap, but then it was still really bright and the, sunny. Yeah, the, the skies were blue, and there was like a two weeks a uh, bit cold, but it was cold in the mornings, in the nights. Yeah, uh, but so in between it was really quite warm. Really we good. sat out in yes. our shorts and our yeah. lunch. Yeah. 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 So the weather here is absolutely ideal for a place to uh, winter if you're if you're gonna yeah. if you're gonna winter in the med yeah. and you don't want to be out on the anchor yeah. because there are you know it does get a bit damp and you yes. know you might want your heater on and your dehumidifier and all that sort of thing. Yeah. So yeah, absolutely fantastic weather really. Yes. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, no problems with that at all. A couple of interesting facts about Portimao. Portimao has been inhabited since the 6th century BC and you actually find there's an awful lot of uh, like Roman ruins and palaces. And loads, there. loads. You yeah. have a lot of history to go and yeah. see here. Yes. It was originally the Moorish um, uh, population, wasn't it? Which yes. came from Morocco. Yeah. Who sort of... Uh, and it's never been part of uh, Spain. It's never been part no, of... It's, Portugal has Port never Portugal. been part of no, Spain. No, 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 and no. it's uh, the oldest border in the world. Oh, is it? Yeah, I, didn't I read that, that as well. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Now... So diving, it uh, has the largest single artificial reef structure in the world, while four warships deliberately sunk. So we have missed that one. Completely, because, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. but uh, I'm not, uh, the water is cold, okay? So it's very, very cold. Unless yeah, this isn't the Mediterranean or the Caribbean for no, water temperature. No, I mean, no. you get people in the sea, we, we saw people out there yeah, uh, yeah, surfing yesterday. Yeah. And I might go for a dive in, you know, but, yeah. but not diving, like uh, yeah. staying on the water. No, no, thank you. No, too cold. <laughs> too cold. But uh, we've totally missed this. Yes. Um, um, it sounds absolutely fascinating. I, I'd love to go uh, to see it, yeah. but we've never really found it. Yeah. Uh, Port Mayo also has a cruise terminal and can hold cruise ships up to 8 metre draft and 410 metres overall. The terminal has a capacity to embark 1,000 passengers per an hour and it doesn't actually look that big. 
No, no, no not really. Not really. Yeah. And uh, it's just on the walk into town from the marina yeah. uh, on the right hand side. And I guess people come here and then they uh, they go off and discover all the other sites that the Algarve has to offer, which we'll, we will be discussing shortly. Shortly, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, the currency? Yes, it's uh, euro. So it's around right about one to one with the, yeah, the dollar. uh, US dollars, just depending on where you are. Uh, the time zone is UTC, so that's like uh, GMT, English time. It's not on uh, kind of like Central European time. No, 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 it's no. one hour ahead. One hour ahead, yeah. yes. Yeah. 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 So Portimao and the small village of Ferragudo are the cities here. Yeah, yeah, yeah they're the main places to go. Mm -hmm. uh, navigation, it really is uh, very easy to come in and out here, uh, day or night. There's no problem whatsoever. Um, the marina, you can call the marina if you want some help or advice, and they're on VHF Radio Channel 9. So Voyage, Region A, so the red square top boys will be on the left as you enter from the ocean. That's right. Uh, standard European configuration there. Uh, checking in, uh, all the check-in takes place uh, for Europeans and non-Europeans at the marina. Uh, you can't just go in and the marina will be on your left hand side, there's a gap. You go through, turn right uh, and um, tie up along there just before the fuel pumps and uh, then you can go on into the office and they deal with everything there. Yeah, yeah. they have an immigration office. Yep, vets. Uh, no, we've been to the vet here. We've been we? to the vets here. We yeah. normally use one at the small town of Ferragudo, uh, but they have loads, loads of vets. They have uh, hospital vets. They have everything you yep. can imagine. They yep. have they have a lot of uh, shops for uh, pets too, didn't they? There's everything you really everything need. Everything you really everything need. We really Not need. expensive. Uh, we have done here the the rabies uh, test for Dobby and uh, it wasn't really expensive, it was about 60 euros, yeah. something like yeah. that, and the, normally that test is really, really expensive. Yeah. And he spoke English. Yes, yeah, very, very good, good Very good yeah. English, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, healthcare, there's plenty of healthcare, yeah, uh, yeah. You, you, you know, pretty well actually, uh, you can get away with uh, free healthcare here in Europe. Yeah, you can, you can, yeah. yes. Yeah. Then yeah. we might have to pay a small amount, but yeah. um, really it's, 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 it's very reasonable, isn't it? Yeah. The sort of national um, health service that they But have. even if you need to go to private, uh, it's not expensive. It's about 60 euros, again, about 60 euros per appointment, which is okay. So uh, we move, next move on to uh, dinghy docks, if you decide you want to stay out on the anchor. Um, the first one is at the marina and uh, we kind of we, we kind of fell foul of this a little bit because we kind of went right the way in and tried to put the dinghy up at the end by the reception building but the guy was really nice to us and said look there's no charge for you to uh, use a dinghy dock here but could you put it at the other end of the pontoon so that on the inside of the pontoon the waiting pontoon but at the end of it so that he can get as many boats yeah, as he wants. Yeah and unlock it. And yeah, he did say, can you leave yeah, it alone? Like but to be fair, I think it's quite safe there because... It's very uh, safe, it's yeah, no problem. It's they have a lot of security, so that's okay, yeah. that's no problem. Um, you can also, if you're going to go out to the boat yard, use the dinghy dock. They've got two travel lifts there in two different places. One's huge and one's uh, sort of like a 30-tonner. But on the 30-tonner, um, there's a set of steps come down and there's a dinghy dock there, which is, um, you know, useful if you want to go to the... Uh, the Chandra. Chandra. Yeah. And I had a rumour that you can use the filling station in town as well and go back on there, somebody told me, but we never actually did that. No, one. we never did that, no. no. Yeah. No. Um, now, the Ferengudda, if you want to go over to the other side of the uh, estuary to Ferengudda, and which uh, you should go because it's a beautiful yeah. village, it has, they have beautiful restaurants and they have a beautiful beach too. Yeah, but be careful with your dinghy. Be careful with your dinghy. Now, along the seafront there, uh, the waterfront, uh, there's also like fishermen's pens where they sort out all their nets and all their garbage and stuff like that. And what they do is when, they, when they're when they going to use it, they sort of bring their little boat in and then they can um, uh, do their business. And if your dinghy's there, they're going to move it now. Uh, they did get quite upset with us. Yes, they, yes did. they did. So if you want to put your dinghy there, just go opposite uh, at a little bay. They have a little little beach there, beach, uh, and you can just leave the dinghy leave there. This was the advice of the vet actually yeah, that told was. us to do that. Yeah, yeah. it was. He said uh, they do get a little bit upset, the local fishermen, if we uh, yachties put our dinghies in their spot. The main harbour is close by. To the west, you have the stunning Alvo. Alvo. Beautiful. It's beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. We spent loads of time yeah. in Albo. Yeah. Yes, they have, um, when the tide goes up, it's just beautiful sandbanks. Sandbanks, absolutely beautiful. Most beautiful. Yeah.
good for you know if you want to walk around if you want to catch clams yeah it's so beautiful very, so very nice. nice we love it and then to the east you have uh, albufeira which is another marina and uh, you can anchor off there you can't get a cat in that marina um, and then further on you have Villa Mora and then you have Calatra, where we are at the present time. Where we time. are at the present time, at Anchorage, yeah. yeah absolutely <laughs> beautiful. So, Which is again full of sandbanks and it's beautiful here too. Yeah, it yeah. is. That's good. Uh, so the main marinas uh, is Porto Mayo Marina. Yes. Which is huge. It carries around about 600 odd berths mm -hmm. and uh, it's enormous. enormous. And it has all the facilities. It has all the facilities. They are very relaxed. And yeah, they, they are yeah, quite relaxed yeah, actually. They yeah. are very um, helpful, friendly, yeah. so yeah. we have no complaints about that. It's reasonably well protected. You can occasionally, when uh, you, you get a sort of a southerly blowing, mm -hmm and some big tides coming in as well you kind of kind of get some uh, big swells coming in through the harbour and because the outer uh, kind of protection for the harbour the marina is not solid it's a floating pontoon it gets underneath and then all the boats start moving around. yeah if it's uh, a storm or something like yeah. that it gets uncomfortable it can, yeah, yeah you need snubbers on your sheets and extra yeah. li on your lines and extra lines as well, well we stayed there 11 weeks and we're just two times that yeah. we had a uh, really yeah. uh, big swell coming yeah. in, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. So it's not the end of the world. Now there are a few other marinas uh, in the estuary, but uh, basically they come down to the fact that they're for local people, and that's Club Naval de Porto Mayo. Uh, there's the town marina up by the bridge which you used to be able to use but you can't any longer and there is actually if you've got a sort of motorboat and you can go under the bridge there's uh, another uh, marina a little bit further up called Calvera Calvario Calvaro so yeah. thank you <laughs> very much thank you uh, anchorages yes yeah, so inside the it's a break breakwater yep yeah you can go there it's yeah really inside good. on the right yeah, side yeah, and uh, you're just off of stunning beach aren't yeah you? we spent loads of times yeah. there yeah I mean, it, that's right in front of the uh, village of Ferragudo right in front of the village beautiful, opposite beautiful the marina beach. so you've got plenty of uh, yeah. places to take a dinghy you can take a dinghy at the beach beach here go to one of the bars and restaurants and that sort of thing yes. on the beach yeah. and it is absolutely stunning yeah, yeah mm -hmm. absolutely yeah. lovely you do get some bit of traffic going by uh, fishing boats and things like that um, but it's just uh, it's just I mean, you just get a bit more protection going further in or yeah. to the right side yeah. or just yeah. Yeah. yeah and the second anchorage is further on up the estuary uh, on the right hand side before the actual main uh, fishing port and uh, you get around about 10 or 12 yachts uh, could anchor up there but I think that's more protected but, but you get the fishing boats sort of plowing through uh, probably. Uh, a little closer to you than we did when we were yeah, down there probably. but yeah. um, all in all it's, it's good holding in both locations yeah, yeah. so few at the marina or in town opposite the main filling station of on the key yeah there's a yeah. there's a main key that runs along the town and uh there's a big filling station there for cars but just opposite it they must have a pipe that goes underneath the uh, key and then down to a pontoon and you can fill up there mm -hmm. um what i'm kind of trying to remember what the price is at the moment is about one pound uh, one euro 40 a liter isn't it uh, 120 yeah. or something 120, like 40. Yeah, yeah. yeah we don't know which <coughs> one's uh, cheaper actually no. we should look that up now propane so propane is a bit of an issue in portugal because you can only really buy the three kilo um camping gas bottles which for us last two weeks yeah yeah so we have to have quite a few of those mm -hmm. and they cost around about uh, 20 euros depending on where you buy them you can buy them from the little shop in the cave at the marina by the beach or you can buy them uh, from the marina office um it isn't actually possible to get cylinders refilled in Portugal unless they are supplied and you have a contract with a local supplier yeah that's the truth isn't it yeah yes. but that doesn't work for the cruisers does no, it doesn't really work for the cruisers and <laughs> uh, there is a couple of sneaky places you can go actually and we'll put a, a description uh, below yeah address. that you can uh, <laughs> fill up like it was for the car yeah it? yeah it's like LPG and yeah. the guy will fill his cylinder up even if he says he won't fill his cylinder up he will and it is so much cheaper yes yeah. very, it really very is so yeah. much cheaper yeah. So ferry service from the marina to Ferragudo in the summer months. Yeah, yeah so if which you, is a nice ride. It's very, yeah. very, very yeah. Uh, short ride, yeah. but it's yeah. good. Very good is great because it's got lots of bars and restaurants, hasn't mm -hmm. it? A little square and yeah. things like that. Yeah. Absolutely lovely. Yeah. Um, supermarkets. Oh, supermarkets. So we have Continent, uh, Lidl, 
and Pingodos, that's the three major uh, brands in Portugal. Uh, Continent is going to be the, well, Lidl is always cheaper, but with mm. more variety it's going to be Continent. Mm. And they have every single thing you want, cheap, mm. very cheap. Yeah. I mean, even the, especially for us coming from the Caribbean, arriving in Portugal was like yeah. arriving into a, you know, Unbelievable, <laughs> unbelievable, yeah. So cheap and you have everything. Cheese is a big thing in Portugal, so you have hundreds of varieties of cheese. And, and pastries. And pastries, yeah. everything. Cured really. meats. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And obviously fish. Breads, yeah, yeah it's just, awesome. it's amazing, yeah. amazing, really good. Pingo Dois is uh, slightly more at market, isn't it? Yeah, it's slightly ex more expensive, mm. uh, yeah, but it's okay too. It's and they actually have a British supermarket as well. Yeah, they do, which is great because we can buy all our favourites. Branston Pickle. Branston Pickle. <laughs> yeah, that's the one for me. Okay. Yep. Uh, Chandris, moving on to Chandris. Uh, Suprema is the main Chandri at the uh, boatyard. There isn't a Chandri at the marina. Now, Suprema, they have a major marina over in Lagos. Uh, they run the marina there and they also have a major Chandri there. And this one is kind of like a little bit of a sort of spear, the spear thing. Is this sort of yeah. attached, really? Is it? Yeah. So often you go there and you say, Do you have this? And the guy says, Well, no, but I can get it for you tomorrow. Yeah. But basically, you'll get it for any other child who mm -hmm. bring it in. Yeah. And there's an awful lot of that going on. Yeah. When you go in there, it looks enormous. Yeah, but, but it doesn't really have too much. No, it stuff, doesn't. Yeah. It doesn't. Um, there's another shop next door called Portier. Now. Portinauta. Thank you very much. And uh, they kind of sell uh, things like jet bikes and uh, airport motors and things like that. And I understand they have a bit of a chandry upstairs. Yeah. Um, there's another company called Slick. Now we found them really good, didn't really, we? Really, really good. They yeah. are, it's very, very small, very uh, small, but they have most of the products that you well, need. Well, if you want things like the cleaning materials for your boat, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, gel coat, yeah. Um, very very nice people, sort of very, very very helpful. Anti fouling. Anti fouling yeah. we bought ours yeah. there. Yeah. Uh, they make very good discounts um, and uh, they are super nice. Yeah, really. super nice, really nice. Now um, there's another company as well called Inox. And they do they're 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 at about a fifteen minute walk from very good up and uh, they do stainless steel work. Uh, they're primarily uh, make kitchen appliances is in stainless steel but an awful lot of stainless steel boat fittings everything from shackles to turnbuckles and things like that uh, which is really useful and also if you wanted to have some stainless steel work done they, they have many examples yeah, there yeah. of uh, various different uh, yeah. arches and things like that so hardware stores we have Leroy Merlin and Max Matt, which are you know they have everything you need again yeah they're these big DIY yeah, centers yeah, isn't yeah, they yeah. Yeah. they can get most yeah. things in there yes, yeah. Yeah. now the main boat yard is a bit of a oddball really. Um, first of all it's got two lifts. Uh, well, one lift is absolutely enormous, something like 120 tons, and the other lift, lift is around about 30 tons. But the uh, lifts and the main boat yard are run by the marina, so they, they're not that cheap. No, no, it's not that cheap, no. no. But if you go straight to... Correct. What are the other yards? Because there's five yards. Yeah in this big yard yeah and uh, for example we went to cabral and sons yeah so you go straight to them and they will use the same lift yeah and it's uh, for us was like 200 uh, 200 euros, euros cheaper. cheaper and yet it was exactly the same lift in exactly yeah. the same place operated yeah. by exactly the same people yeah um they just give you the discount that they get from uh, the main people that own the lift and run it yeah basically mm -hmm. so we'll put a link in the uh description below for them yes destination sailing channel is sponsored by seawater pro if you are buying a water maker follow the link below and receive an additional set of filters if you speak with mike at seawater pro don't forget to mention destination sailing channel check out our video where we installed our seawater pro water maker so what to see? What to see and what to do? It's a lot to see here. So first, you can't miss the Benadryl Capes. It is amazing. It is really, really nice. You don't need to hire one of the boats from the boat trips. You can go with your boat, just anchor off. It's yep. uh, obviously you're going to have, but you mostly have calm seas here. Yeah, yeah, here, yeah, so, yeah. yeah. So just drop a hook about just, uh, yeah. two or three hundred yards off the beach. Yeah, and then you're going to see the most beautiful, beautiful yeah. caves. Yeah. Uh, they, I think they are one of the famous caves, more famous caves. caves and these the things are huge. These huge. things are huge. huge. You know, yeah. the size of the cathedral yeah. are absolutely yeah. enormous. Yes. 
which is uh, really worth a visit. And it's only uh, probably half an hour along the coast on the boat, isn't yeah. it? So you can yeah. just got, kind of motor down there on a nice day yeah. and uh, take the boat in and uh, take the ribbon and uh, beach it. Fantastic. Yeah. Then you have the Sardine Museum, which is another attraction that you shouldn't miss because that's they, they show you exactly how they used to uh, do the tin sardines. Tinning, tinning the sardines, how they yeah. would. I mean, it was really was uh, a major industry here going yeah. back in the last century. And uh, it was a complete production line system for uh, these these sardines. And how, how they bring the little baskets with yeah. the sardines they yeah. from the boats to... Had a conveyor belt that yeah, brought it across. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's Absolutely beautiful. fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, another thing you can't miss here are the stunning beaches. These beaches here uh, backed by these uh, very deep orange cliffs are absolutely wonderful and, uh, and it's just a shame that the water isn't Mediterranean warm or Caribbean yeah, warm. Yeah, this is the Atlantic. This is the Atlantic, yeah. Yeah, but the beaches are long, long. It's no, just miles, miles and miles and yeah. miles with beautiful shells, yeah. beautiful sand. It's and it's beautiful cliff walks yes, and things like yes, that. So you can yes. walk one way walk, along the yes, beach and then so, walk back. Yes. And then behind uh, the actual cliff run, or the, is a pine forest and things like that. Yes, it's, it's stunning. stunning. We have done amazing walks around yeah, here during the yeah, winter. We've really enjoyed it, yeah. Uh, another the big thing here is uh, surfing and kite surfing. And kite surfing, kite surfing in Alvo is just the major place where yeah. they do. They have schools there and everything, but you know it's just crowded because it's yeah. just so many. It's a yeah. perfect place for you to learn. Yeah. We want to do that. We, want to we do will that. do yeah. that yeah. Uh, because it's very shallow water, so you can. Uh, yeah. It's better yeah. to learn. I and the surfing is very good as well, isn't it? Surfing is very famous for surfing too. Yeah. Here, yes. Uh, another thing is a uh, must see here are some of the sort of castles and Roman settlements. Yes. Absolutely stunning. Yes. Absolutely yes. fantastic. You're going to find loads. Yeah. Uh, you just go to the Google and try to find, you know, because it's just yeah. so many and it's beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. And it's so cheap to go. It's like two euros or yeah. something like that. The museums that. and things like that, they yeah, are cheap. They're, they're cheap yeah. And they do it all so well. The it's Portuguese so well, do well so, so well. So yeah. well, really well. Yeah. 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 Okay, so that's what you should uh, come and do and see and look at and everything else while you're here. Now, connections. Uh, Fire Airport International Flights is about 35 minutes away from uh, Portimão. Yep. Yeah, so you can get an Uber very easy yep. uh, and cheap. And or you can uh, get the uh, train. Yes. It's a train service, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, and a bus. Yeah. So, so thank you for listening to our channel. <laughs> <laughs> Just a reminder, you can see our adventure on YouTube at Sailing Ocean Fox. Yes, they are episodes 136 to 145. We will put a link in the description below. Destination Shading Channel is supported by Seawater Pro. If you are buying a water meter, look out for the link below and receive an additional set of filters with your purchase. You would also be helping us to produce this free podcast and video. So thank you. You can listen to Destination Sailing Channel at, as a podcast. Just search to the channel on your preferred podcast platform. Next week, we will be off to the island of Barbados. Be sure to follow. And that's the place you go, isn't it? Yeah. When you cross, cross the Atlantic. Atlantic and first land. First stop. First stop. <laughs> it is a beautiful, beautiful place to go. Yeah. This is Simon and Carla from Sailing Ocean Fox on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and all the major podcast platforms. Until next week, fair winds wherever you are sailing. Bye for now.